It's time to put the shelves and drawers into the cabinets. Install the rails on the side of the cabinet. Now put on the drawer fronts. There are two heights of drawer front to match the two heights of drawer. Attach the metal supports that come with the drawer using the pre-drilled holes. Align the holes on the drawer with the ones on the front. Secure them with the plastic fitting. Slide the drawer into the cabinet by aligning the back wheels of the runner with the front wheels of the sliders. Put on the hinges that come with the cabinet. You can hang the doors either to the left or to the right. Once you've installed all the doors, you need to make sure they are aligned. You can adjust them in six different ways using the screws on the hinges. The drawers can also be aligned upwards and downwards. Use an Allen key to adjust them. Time to add the knobs and handles. Measure, then mark where you want them. For some handles, a drilling pattern can be used. Now add the accessories that go perfectly with Airnet. The hooks. The swivel tray. The hook bar. The containers. All of them add both style and functionality to your kitchen. If you're having a plinth, you need to measure what size you need and cut the plinth to the right size. If you have a corner, always start with the side plinth. The open edges need to be sanded and sealed with the edge band that comes with the plinth. Put the plastic fittings for the legs on the plinth and press the plinth to the legs. It's easier to measure where to place the legs if you lay the plinth in front of them. When two pieces of the plinth meet in a corner, you need to attach both to the same leg. Put the clips upside down on one of the plinths, that way they won't collide. 